whole first year at SNL, I'm still living at home. I remember the first time I was on, I rode back uh, to Long Island on the Long Island Railroad, and I didn't wipe my makeup off because I was on TV. You know, I thought people was gonna, you know, see me with the makeup on, and know I was on TV. And, you know, <laughs> no one knew. I probably just looked like a very strange young fellow <laughs> on the train <laughs> at night. <laughs> late 70s to early 80s, there were three comedy clubs in New York. There was Catch a Rising Star, the Improv, and the Comic Strip. And I worked those clubs before I came up here. That's how I found out about this show, was auditioning. Everyone that was funny came out and auditioned. The first time I came here was uh, just Neil Levy, just me and Neil in his office. And he said, make me laugh. And luckily, because I was doing stand-up already, so I had you know, material and I did impressions. I did Ali, Muhammad Ali. Get in with me, catch his clay. The man's a disgrace to boxing. He's too old to fight. And I did uh, uh, Bill Cosby. You know you want to smile. I saw you did like this. That's right. And he didn't laugh at all. He just sat and kind of looked at me and he just said, thank you. And then I laughed. I was like, well, I guess I didn't get it. Then a couple weeks later, they called me. And featuring Eddie Murphy. It was hard at first for the simple fact that uh, the show was so beloved when the whole cast just left. Lauren left, and it was like, okay, we got the hippest, hottest, funniest show on TV, and we're gonna replace them with all these new faces. So the audience was like, F all of y'all, and F this show, and F then you would walk down the street and people were like, you on a new Saturday Night Live? Y'all ain't. F <laughs> so we had, we had a lot of that the first year. It freaked a lot of the cast out, but I didn't get freaked out because I'm, you know, 19 years old and just so happy to be on TV. This is live television! The first year at SNL, I would still steal. I remember I came back from the Long Island Railroad and I had parked my car there and somebody had stole my hubcaps. I just stole somebody else's hubcaps. And I was literally on the show and I was like, this is to take it to my show. <laughs> like I said, the whole cast was getting a lot of shit. They hated the show. And then they fired everybody. Michael O'Donoghue, he came and fired everybody. And uh, he just kept me in Piscopo. And the reason he kept me was because there was a sketch where there was an article in a paper about uh, old people eating uh, pet food. And I went to the news desk and did some kind of thing about it. Now that's good holiday So it looked like I was eating dog food. When O'Donoghue fired everybody, and he came in and he said, and the only reason Murphy didn't get fired is because he ate that dog food. And I was like, that wasn't dog food, that was hash. And he looked at me like, what the f But it was too late and I just kept the show. It was just that close. If he had known that was hash, none of this would be happening. <laughs> You have this gun at your head to be creative. You have to get a character that connects or get something going. But I wasn't scared because my stuff was working. And if you wrote something funny, you can get it on. I mean, everything I wrote didn't get on, but the really funny stuff got on. I've been a junior at Cleveland High going on seven years now. I'd like to tell y'all that this is the most disgusting thing y'all done pulled up today. Anytime we get something going good, y'all got to move in on it. In the 60s, we wore platform shoes, then y'all had to wear platform shoes. <laughs> All I'm saying is that y'all stay on the hockey courts and the polo fields and let us stay on the basketball courts. Because if God would have wanted whites to be equal to blacks, everybody have one of these. It still holds up. <laughs> there isn't a better place for me to have been than, you know, here at that age. It's, I was the age you'd be when you go to college. And this is, you know, the equivalent of Harvard for comic actors. So you're like right in the middle of it. In my life, when I look back on my experience here, before everything started, it yeah, had some of my fondest memories. I had, a, you know, I had a blast up here. I hope it's funny Saturday. I hope it uh, lives up to whatever expectations anyone has. I want to be one of the funny ones. Ha, ha, ha.